Question 35. In which of the following ways do hypothesis 1 and 2 differ in regard to when mutation occurred in the descendant population? Hypothesis 1 argues that mutation occurred. Now we we'll offer often see the keywords that are present out here and in this they've asked us to when the mutation occurred in the descendant population. So they're asking how both of these differ in regards to the mutation and when it occurs. And first they've asked us for hypothesis 1. So if you look at hypothesis 1, we can see that in response to T1 exposure, some of the descendants underwent a mutation. So this is definitely when the exposure was there to T1, that time hypothesis 1 states that the mutation occurred. So we can eliminate A, B because they talk about prior to exposure. Now let's look at option D. They mentioned following exposure to E. coli, which is completely wrong since the exposure was to T1. So even without looking at the second part, we can say that option C is correct.